Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript Coding Challenge. In today's video, you have to find the below code output and you have four options to select from. The question is, you have a variable x which is a promise object which is having a callback function with two arguments resolve and reject and this particular uh, methods are being called. In that resolve it is passing the resolve string and in the reject you are passing the reject string. So both the methods are being called of the callback function and then we have a const res which is calling this uh, promise object that we have created. There is a then method available in the promise object and uh, it's an uh, in the arrow function within the arrow function we are trying to print uh, there is a consulted log in the then as well as in the catch. Okay. And finally, whatever uh, response that we are getting uh, from this x dot then and uh, x dot cache that we are actually going to print again. So it's console.log of rest and the four options in this particular question are A, it's we have a promise object and a fulfilled resolve and B, promise object and an error reject and C, fulfilled resolve and D option, error reject. So please try from your end and uh, see what's the output you are getting. So before I discuss about the solution, so if you like this particular question and the coding challenge series, please subscribe to my channel for further uh, challenges and upcoming videos. So let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting. So in this particular question, we are having a constant variable x which is having a new promise object and in, in this we are having a callback function. So before we discuss about uh, the variable x, we will see what is a promise, okay, what is a promise in JavaScript. So promise is basically an object and it represents an the eventual completion of failure of an asynchronous operation and its resulting value. What does that mean? So promise we are actually using with an asynchron uh, asynchronous code or operation and uh, initially if you are actually creating a promise where promise object, right? So during that time the promise will be having a state pending, okay? So it will not be completed, it might be completing in the future, okay? And as soon as it is getting completed, okay, and during that time, so this particular the completed value, fulfilled value will be uh, updated in the promise object, okay. And this actually uh, avoid, removes two main issues that is created if you are not using promise in JavaScript, that is the callback hell and the inversion of control, okay. Callback hell means uh, the callback functions are called one uh, uh, within the one API, another API is getting called and it's like a pyramid of doom and we are having a callback hell. So similarly, we have an inversion of control like if you are actually providing our uh, a callback function to some other API, uh, some other uh, method, right? So in, during that time, we do not know whether this particular method will be called to twice or thrice, right? So during that time, inversion of control uh, issue will be happening. So to avoid all those issues, we are using promise and this is actually added into the micro task queue. So if you are actually knowing about event loop, so in event loop, there is a precedence order, okay, how the code will be executed. So first, we'll, all the code will be executed synchronously because JavaScript is a single threaded synchronous language and uh, the promises will be uh, convert uh, will be moved into the micro task queue so once the call stack is empty then only this particular piece of code will be executed so we'll see all this in action in this particular question right and we have three states in uh, promise okay the first one we already know that it's a pending state which is the initial state which means that uh, it's not uh, fulfilled nor it is rejected Okay, then we have the fulfilled state means that the pro promise is completed and the promise object is uh, updated with the uh, latest value. And rejected means the operation itself is failed and hence it will be notifying a rejected and it will go into the error, uh, error. okay, it will go into the catch, catch block. So let's see, uh, in our particular question, you have a new promise, okay. So if I scroll the mouse over that, it's having two methods, okay. One is the resolve method and one is the reject method. So promise is having uh, two, uh, basically two uh, states, okay. This one is the fulfilled state and one is the rejected state, okay. Pending is the initial state, so we do not consider that, but resolve and reject. So we'll have two methods. If it is the promise is getting completed, then the resolve will be triggered and if there is any operation or failure in that it will reject will be triggered okay and it will go to the catch block and so we, we are calling both the resolve and reject so uh, once uh, resolve is already called right so that means the uh, uh, operation is completed successfully then it will not go into the reject block 
okay so that means once it is resolved completely it will not move into the reject block okay and we have a const response that is res and we have a dot then method where it will actually uh, if it is getting completed or resolved so the, the then block will be executed if there is any rejection then the catch block will be error uh, called okay so now we are having the resolve first okay so that means it is getting resolved uh, successfully and hence the dot, dot then will be called and dot then will be called and here actually we are printing what console.log of fulfilled plus x okay fulfilled plus x in this case will be whatever we are passing in the resolve so that value will be uh, available in the x okay so you, you have to return this particular thing so that will be available over here so it will be fulfilled the resolve but the uh, it, it, you know, as you know right javascript is a synchronous language and hence this particular piece of code okay initially this may not be uh, completed okay this will be in the pending state right and hence the console.log of response will be printed first which is actually a promise object right it's a promise object and hence we will be having promise object initially and then only this particular piece of code will be executed that is console.log fulfilled plus resolve so let's see in action so i have this particular script available in the test.js which is being called from the index.html as you can see here so let me run this and make sure that everything is running fine okay so i'm just running that and i'll just put a breakpoint in the i'll just go to the sources and put a breakpoint right over here and over here okay okay so just let me run this and refresh this okay basically i will be doing so you can see here right so it has gone to the resolve okay that means it is getting a uh, resolve and if you see here uh, x is undefined because it has not run so reject and uh, resolve both are like functions okay and you have a script rust is undefined as of now and as soon as it gets completed so now if you see rust is still undefined okay it didn't run okay now if you see rust is actually pending okay promise it is it has not completed so by this time actually uh, x is already it will be printed okay once this console.log of this particular piece of uh, line is ran right okay so if i just right click and just move that so now you can see here uh promise pending is uh, printed and the current state is pending okay so this is the initial state and uh, we didn't print this particular console.log because it has not completed as of now but if i click again okay if i click again that means that is completed fulfilled resolve and okay this status is still pending because we have actually uh, created uh, called that initially so now if i just refresh it now you can see that okay so fulfilled resolve and if you see here it is fulfilled so promise state is fulfilled means that is completed and it is resolved okay once it is resolved uh, this particular state will be updated and uh, okay and fulfilled resolve okay fulfilled and resolve is also getting printed so we have a promise object and we have a, a fulfilled result and why it is pending means initially before uh, initially the promise object we are actually it is a synchronous thing right so this particular piece of code is actually executed initially before this promise even it's uh, called okay so that is why the initial status initial uh, state is actually mentioned over here this is the pending state and what uh, the google chrome actually it looks actually for the uh, promise object and it constantly waits for the promise object to be uh, fulfilled or rejected and once this particular state is updated and here in the promise object also that uh, gets reflected okay and hence it will be fulfilled over here and we will be printing fulfilled and resolve so this resolve has actually come from uh, this particular uh, value whatever we are actually providing in the resolve so this particular value will be available on the x okay and not this particular x so i hope you got an idea about uh, this particular question so that's it for today's video uh, thanks a lot for watching